evening, NBS has moved a step further from its local competitors when it moved its content to the internet dubbed you stream. So, one, two, three. Ah. It's now my pleasant honor and duty to launch the NBS Digital. Thank you very much. The State Minister for ICT, Nyombi Tembo, applauded NBS, among other local media competitors, for standing out as a non-partisan media organization which balances its contents always. Minister Tembo challenged other media to borrow a leaf from NBS to strive for balance and fairness as it is one of the principles in media publication. This will widen viewership and of course it makes a lot of business sense both to the broadcasters and the advertisers who are the major stakeholders to the free-to-air television or broadcast. Minister Tembo also revealed that by March next year, Uganda will be ready for the digital migration. He thus challenged other broadcasters to embrace the usage of live streaming to widen their viewership. I want to assure Uganda that we have now fulfilled all the startup activities to at least have partial migration in the Kampala area by the end of March 2013. This initiative of making it possible for internet subscribers to access NBS online is, according to Chairman Board of Directors, NBS, aimed at widening coverage, as well as taking Uganda's local content beyond borders. You, are, you put in nbs.ug slash live, you watch live. If they are reading news, you see it the way it is. Whether you are in Boston, whether you are in London, Beijing, New York, wherever, you will be able to see NBS the way Ugandans watch it here. The Minister of ICT also cautioned free-to-air broadcasters to desist from giving exclusive rights to single carriers. <laughs> Bushra Namirimu, NBS Television.